Hello everyone, this is John Hendrickson. I'm the CEO of Frederick Living and I'm glad to join you during this grand illumination event. I want to thank you for your many gifts. We have had a very good response to the grand illumination, which helps to support benevolent care here at Frederick. During my tenure and long before, no one has ever been asked to leave Frederick because of inability to pay. The Benevolent Care Fund assists those residents who have through no fault of their own been unable to meet the full cost of care. We thank you for your support in that way. We also want to thank especially Univest. Univest has been a longtime partner of Frederick Living. Univest, we thank you for your platinum sponsorship. And B. Rogers, we thank you for your service to Frederick and the ongoing care that you give to our maintenance needs here. Thank you so very much. Frederick is in its 124th year of serving, and we've had many sponsors through the years and approximately 22 to 25 sponsors in addition to Univest and NB Rogers are helping us with the grand illumination today. You have helped us so much folks, and we are deeply, deeply grateful for that. Thank you everyone who gave funds to support the Illuminary event as well. Over 200 people were involved in that and giving gifts of honor and a gift of memory of loved ones. Merry Christmas and thank you for bringing joy to Frederick Living through the Grand Illumination. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome to the fourth annual Frederick Living Grand Illumination kickoff concert. This year, virtually, so you may be watching this um, in your home at Frederick, or you may be watching this in your home somewhere else. Um, but we hope you enjoyed tonight's performance. And I want to just mention that tonight's performance was made possible by a variety of sponsors. And really, their sponsorship money primarily is going to our Benevolent Care Fund, which helps those residents who, through no fault of their own, do not have enough resources to continue to fully pay for their care. So um, tonight's premier sponsor, our platinum sponsor, is Univest. And I really want to thank them. That This is their fourth year as our um, platinum sponsor, and we really appreciate it. Please stay tuned to the concert all the way through. And at the end, you'll also see our other sponsors, as well as tributes to those that you love or wanted to honor with uh, luminaries. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks for your support for Frederick Living. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, everybody. My name's Charlie. It's a delight to be with you all today. Hello to all the good folks from Frederick Living. We've performed for you a couple of times. All the folks there and their friends and family and their supporters as well. I'm here with my friend Tad Marks, who drove up from Baltimore today. We're both wearing our, our Christmas green, and uh, this is a delight uh, to be singing these wonderful songs of the season uh, just a little early so that uh, our good friend Amy can prepare it uh, with... Uh, with the good folks from Frederick Living for all of you. And I do hope that you sit back down in your comfy chair and you sing right along with us for the next little while. Ned, it is great to see you again. And Craig, thank you so much for all of your technical support as we got this concert going today. And thanks to Univest, especially for being a platinum sponsor of the, of the programming that you see tonight and uh, so many other things, wonderful things, at the good folks, uh, for the good folks at Frederick Living. Tad, are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
sing right along with us as we do hope that you were singing along on that beautiful old song. And in this uh, gorgeous Zion Mennonite church today, uh, the, uh, the sounds of Christmas are echoing all around as Tad and I sing uh, just to a, a very select group of people today. But no matter where you're from or probably almost no matter what age you are, you will certainly know this next song. <laughs>
photography Christmas special that came out and I grew up uh, grew up in a little town uh, on the east coast of Florida called India Atlantic and when I was a kid we didn't have 300 channels like people have today we didn't have YouTube we didn't have any <laughs> of those things we had four channels on our TV uh, the three primary networks and uh, actually I guess five PBS and uh, a local cable access and that was it and uh, but those were the days of the best television programming that there was um, and one of the best stop-action photography shows I've ever seen was a Christmas special. And it was about this little boy. And uh, he didn't have much to offer. He had a vest that he wore, kind of a ragged vest and some dusty sandals and, and a, a pair of pants. And that was about it. All he had in the whole world to offer the Christ child was the gift from his heart and the music that he could play on that little drum. And I'll never forget uh, in that program as he approaches the Christ child and Mary nods and all the little animals are nodding along and he plays his song for the baby Jesus and I'll just never forget that for me that was one of the classic times uh, in television I'm not a big television watcher but uh, for me as a young boy growing up who might grow up to be a musician someday seeing that uh, was very special I'll never forget it we're gonna play a song for you right now which is not really a Christmas song but I bet you know it and it has to do uh, with the man who died on that cross that's right in front of me right there. It's a song that is called The Lord of the Dance. And uh, it's based on an old traditional American melody uh, uh, written um, a lot over 200 years ago by uh, the Shakers. And they used to live in New England, a messianic sect that lived up there. And they sang a song called Simple Gifts. And the melody was picked up uh, by a gentleman from England about 50 or 60 years ago and made into a song called The Lord of the Dance, which became as Irish as anything because of the great dance spectacular, The Lord of the Dance, years ago. Dance, dance, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the Dance, said he, and I leave you all wherever you may be. And I
Then I danced on a Sabbath and I crawled and lay. Tad Marks uh, doing a tune right here, right now, on the fiddle, and I was hoping you might play the Mason's Apron for all these sure, good people at Frederick Living. Yeah. I'm going to grab my little drink right here, which fell when I was dancing around a little while ago, so if you can tell the good folks about uh, the fiddle tune that you're about okay. to play, that would be great. Okay. It's an old Irish tune that uh, is very popular and uh, goes back a couple hundred years, and uh, I picked it up from a fiddler that lived in my town who uh, was from Ireland. And he taught me this number. It's called uh, the. Uh, I forgot the name the of Mason's it. Apron. The Mason's Apron. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> in Ireland. Uh, it's a beautiful song uh, written not too long ago by a very, very talented writer named Tommy Sands who wrote it about his hometown of Belfast, way up there in the north. And I'm going to teach you the chorus so you can help us out. Can't hear you quite so well right now, but sing good and loud so that I can. And the chorus goes like this. And when we dance, we'll dance together. When we cry, We'll hold each other, and 
when we love, we love forever. Now I will lag inside. Try that with me. And when we dance, we'll dance together. And when we cry, we'll hold each other. And when we love, we love forever. I said, what's this music, so full of joy and pain? Pipes and the harps and the lamb back drummers play. She said, oh, the teardrops falling in the rain, down by the lagging side. And when we dance, we'll dance together, and when we cry, stuck in the back of his head and he wanted to do something more with it. I imagine, you know, a hundred years ago or so, or even longer, and you're going through the Appalachians, you stop in some general store, or you hear some folks singing while they fish or work out in the fields, 
and they have these beautiful mountain melodies which are almost always in a minor key and very haunting and uh, they stick with you. And as it stuck with this fellow and he, and he wrote it out into uh, what became one of our most beloved of all the, the Christmas songs, I Wonder As I Wander. <laughs> I wander out on the sea. How Jesus, our Savior, did come for to die for poor ordinary people like you and like I. I wonder as I wander out under the sky. Wise men and farmers and shepherds and all. I from the heavens, the stars of light did fall. A promise of ages, it then did recall. Christmas song, but became a Christmas song, almost as much as all of them, and it's uh, an old African American song. And uh, the, the the what? So is the, there's two parts here. So I sing a, a line, and then you have to sing something back to me. So I'm going to sing, "Children, go where I send thee," and you have to sing back to me. 
How shall I send thee? And then I'm going to sing, well, I'm going to, and then it's, the chorus builds and builds and builds. So try to keep up with us. We have ten different things going on in the very last verse of this song. It's a, it's a lot of fun to sing together, and I'm sure that once all of this pandemic stuff is over, we'll be singing for you again right there at Frederick Living in your very comfortable uh, housing, and uh, we'll share songs together like this one. And I look forward to hearing your beautiful voices then. So, the chorus. <laughs> Children, go where I send thee. How shall I send thee? Well, I will send you one by one. one. This is a number that I uh, I picked up when I first started playing the fiddle. I was about maybe 20 years old, and I was going to college up at Penn State. And I used to play square dances every Saturday night. And the um, fellow who did the calling at the square dances was also the singer in the band. So he we would do a bunch of songs, and then every third or fourth number, we would do two or three square dances. And he had an actual tune that went actual words that went with this for a call, an actual call that went with this tune. And uh, the tune's called, um, I won't do the call, I'll just do the fiddle tune, but it's called Soldier's Joy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Soldier's Joy. Thank you. Tad Marks. Tad Marks on that fiddle. <laughs> well, we hope you folks are enjoying yourselves so far. We sure are here. It's nice to, nice to get out and about on a beautiful day like today and sing songs of Christmas. We're going to sing you uh, right now one of the most popular of all the, all the Christmas songs. This one was originally written in French. And uh, translated into English and became very, very popular over here, and uh, I don't even think it needs an introduction, but just in case you're wondering, it's called Oh Holy Night. Oh Holy Night, the stars are brightly shine, it is the night of our dear Savior. Long lay the wood in sin and terror pine till he appeared and the soul felt its wound. The thrill of hope, a weary world rejoices, for yonder grace, a new and glorious morn.
some uh, English speaker somewhere along the line, and he decided, he or she decided to share it with the rest of us, a great old song. You know, a lot of Christmas songs can be very dramatic, like Oh Holy Night, but some of my favorites are the ones that are not quite so dramatic. Uh, the one that we're going to sing for you right now takes us to the manger scene. It takes us to uh, uh, the very moment of Jesus' birth, and there's so many songs about Mary and Songs about Joseph and songs about uh, the wise men who showed up with their gold and their frankincense and their myrrh, and the songs of the angels proclaiming the good news of the Savior's birth. But there were many little souls there in the manger scene, and they all had something to give the Christ child. And in this next song, each one of them has a moment to share his or her story, and they're all so proud of what they were able to give the baby Jesus in his hour of need as a babe in swaddling clothes. And uh, the song uh, was originally, I believe, sung in Spanish. And it was translated here and there. And finally, I learned it several years ago. And it's a song called The Friendly Beasts. <laughs> Was humbly born in a stable room, and the friendly beasts around him stood. Jesus, our brother, God. Uphill and down, carried her safely to Bethlehem town. I said the dawn, shaggy and brown. I said the ram of curly horn, gave him. My wool for a blanket warm. He wore my coat on Christmas morn. I sat around of curly horn. I said the cow all white. I stay Stay. 
table top and a tale to tell of the gifts they gave to man you well. The gifts they gave to man you well. The gifts they gave to man you well. The gifts they gave. song called The Friendly Beasts. Uh, I love that song. I'm an animal lover. I imagine many of you are as well. And I can almost imagine uh, in the middle of those lines of that song, as the ram, uh, so proud of giving his, his fleece, his wool to uh, the Christ child, and uh, the cow who was kind enough to give up her stall for this babe who was looking for just a place to lay his head with his mother and his father, standing close by. And that song takes us right there into the manger scene. And you've got the wise men, and you've got the angels. And now finally, all of those uh, little animals get to have their say as well. We're going to sing a song for you right now, which uh, takes us to Scotland. And Tad and I are wearing uh, kilts today, and uh, we oftentimes perform in them. I love Scotland, love the history of Scotland, love uh, the music of Scotland. And we're going to sing you a song that I imagine you know as well. You probably learned this song when you were in school a few years back. And it uh, is a song that takes us now to the highlands of Scotland, to the east of Inverness, way up there in the highlands. Imagine, if you will, it's April 16th, 1746. The ragged lines of Bonnie Prince Charlie's army are standing there with the rain in their faces as they're facing uh, the big red crimson tide of the army of the Duke of Cumberland, the king's son. And the king's son was set up north with his army of 10,000 men to put down this Jacobite rising of Bonnie Prince Charlie, who, uh, from a young boy, was raised with the great romantic notions that all he had to do was return to the ancestral home of his fathers on the Stuart line, and certainly the Highlanders would, re would rise for him and win back the crown of all of Great Britain for his exiled father, James VIII of Scotland, the third of England, who himself was raised in exile. And they had a couple of great successes, the Battle of Preston Pans, September 21st, 1745, and into January 1746, the Battle of Falkirk, two great Highland army victories. But the great and final victory they so desperately needed eluded them. When they met on Culloden Moor, the Highland army was tired, exhausted, very cold, and very, very hungry. They were no match for the government's forces, and the battle was over in about 45 minutes. The cannons did most of the work, they were playing and dancing from uh, the army lines, the government lines. And uh, there's a story that says after the battle was done and the, the rain was gone and the smoke cleared, there were two Highlanders, among many, who were taken to the castle of Carlisle to the south in England. They were tried for their crimes of treason against the state of Great Britain. One was allowed to go free. He walked home, took the high road home. The other fellow was condemned to die, but he returned to Scotland too via the low road, the low road of death. There's an old Scottish legend that says if you're born in Scotland, it doesn't matter where you travel across the world, it doesn't matter where you pass away, your soul will travel underground via the low road until you arrive at the home of your birth. And this song is called The Bonnie Bonnie Banks of Loch Lomond. We would love to have you sing it along. By Bonnie Banks, by yon Bonnie Breeze, where the sun shines bright on Loch Lomond, where me and my true love will ever want again. On the Bonnie Bonnie Banks of Loch For ye, for me and my true love will never. 
never meet again On the Pawnee, Pawnee banks of Loch Lomond It was there that we parted in yon shady glen On the steep, steep side of Ben Coming out in the gloaming You'll tackle the high road I'll tackle the low And I'll be in Scotland I'll be in Scotland The four years For me and my true love We'll never meet again On the bonny, bonny banks Of Loch And in sunshine the water are sleeping But a broken heart can say second spring And the wayful basis pray the greeting I'll tack the road. I'll be in Scotland a four years for me and my true love. We'll never meet again on the bonny, bonny banks of Loch Try that with me at home. Are you ready? He'll the high road. I'll take the low road. I'll be in Scotland a four years. For me and my true love, we'll never meet again. sure that you were. We're going to sing a couple of more songs for you now until we give you back to the rest of your Christmas celebrations. Tad, have you had a good time so I've had far? a wonderful time. Me yeah, too. It it's really been a, a joy to, to perform with you again. Thanks. And uh, to sing these beautiful songs of Christmas. We're going to do two more songs for you. One is a, a favorite Christmas song. It takes us back now to the year 1818 in a small town called Oberndorf in Austria. And the parish priest uh, had written a poem and he hoped that it might be sung with the choir and the church organ, as the old story goes, on Christmas Eve of that year, over 200 years ago, 202 years ago, 1818. Well, as the old story goes, and there's always legend associated with some of these old songs, they say that the, pi the, uh, the mice had eaten through the bellows of the pipe organ, and the church organ was not going to 
uh, work that Christmas. They couldn't fix it in time. He wasn't quite sure what to do, so he went to, to the choir master there of the church, and he asked the choir master if he might take his simple poem, and instead of making it into a grand production there with the choir and the organ, if he might do uh, something a little more simple, perhaps, since they don't have that organ. And the choir master said, well, let me see. We've got a, a simple gut string folk guitar. I can probably put something together for you. And he came back and he told the priest that uh, indeed he had written a beautiful melody, a simple melody, just for a simple folk guitar like this one and a few voices. And by candlelight, as the snow came down in Oberndorf in Austria, exactly 202 years ago, this song was first sung for a small congregation. How would they know that this would become one of the most beloved of all the Christmas songs? Of course, then they called it Stille Nacht, but we know it as Silent Night.
Todd and I uh, certainly hope all of our friends at Frederick Living have a wonderful, silent, and holy night in the, the days leading up to and including Christmas. It's been a great pleasure to sing for you all today. We certainly thank Amy, and we thank our friend Ned, and we thank Craig, who's uh, back there at the big board uh, doing all the electronic wizardry to make all this happen uh, for you today. And for us, it's been a great uh, blessing for us, too. To be here uh, in this beautiful church, thank you, Zion Mennonite Church, for letting us uh, sing in your lovely sanctuary tonight. And we especially appreciate the beautiful wreath right behind us there, and the Christmas colors uh, on the. Uh, that's uh, very much like a uh, Stuart tartan, uh, not quite, uh, not enough white, but uh, but beautiful nonetheless. We appreciate uh, all that has been done behind the scenes to make this concert. Uh, possible, especially the sponsors as well. And as I said earlier, once uh, these difficult days are behind us, we look forward to coming and visiting all our friends at Frederick Living and singing for you in person. Nothing beats that, in my opinion. I only started singing it and playing guitar years ago to sing and play with others. And uh, now, uh, during these rather awkward days, it's a little difficult. But through the magic of uh, recording, our friend Craig is able to, to capture what we do uh, with you. Uh, for the last uh, little while and present it whenever you want over the Christmas holidays. Again, thank you, Amy, for all that you did. We're going to finish up with a song now from Scotland. And uh, Scotland does not have an official national anthem because Scotland became part of Great Britain when Great Britain was created in 1707 during the reign of Anne Stuart, the last of the Stuart monarchs, other than their distant, pale German cousins who were whisked over from Hanover. 1715, starting with Georg I. But Anne Stewart has a special place in my heart, as she is a Stuart. And uh, this song takes us to Scotland right now uh, via song and story. But as I said, Scotland doesn't have a national anthem. The national anthem of Great Britain is God Save the Queen. But we're going to sing a song for you right now, which is one of those great unofficial anthems. And when all this is over and you can go back and celebrate the great Scottish Highland Games and you see the bagpipers and the drummers marching on the field, you can hear the thunder of the drums and the pipes long before you can see them. And eventually they march on and the whole ground, the earth is trembling under their tread. And oftentimes they play the song that we're going to play for you right now. So, uh, Tad, thanks a lot for joining me this afternoon. It's my pleasure. And we wish you all a very blessed, happy, and healthy Christmas and New Year. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. And we'll leave you with this song. When the night was falling, hear, hear, the pipes are calling, loudly and proudly calling down. Spirits of the old Highland men, towering in gallant fame, Scotland, the mountain came. I may a proud stand and gloriously wave. Land of my heart forever, land of the shining river, land of my heart forever, Scotland, the brave. I in the misty highlands, out by the purple islands, brave are the hearts that beat me, sky skies, wild are the winds that beat you, staunch are the friends that greet you, kindly and greeting you with their Scottish eyes. Towering in gallant fame, Scotland, the mountain came, I may your proud stand a glorious name. Land of my high endeavor, land of the shining river, land of my heart forever, Scotland the brave. Towering in gallant fame, Scotland the mountain name, I may proud stand and gloriously wave. Land of my high endeavor, land of the shining river, land of my heart forever, Scotland the brave. Land of my heart. Forever 
Precious memories, unseen angels Sent from somewhere to my soul How they lingered ever near me And the sacred past unfolds Precious memories, how they linger how they ever flood my soul in the stillness of the midnight precious sacred scenes unfold precious father darling mother fly across the lonely And in home scenes of my childhood, in fond memory appears. Precious memories, how they linger, how they ever flood my soul. In the stillness of Midnight, precious sacred scenes I hear home star singing, gladness bringing from that lovely land somewhere. Precious memories, how they linger, how they ever flood my soul. Stillness of the midnight, precious sacred scenes unfold. Precious memories, how they linger, how they ever flood my soul. In the stillness of Midnight, precious sacred scenes unfold. Precious memories, how they linger, how they ever flood my soul. In the stillness of the midnight. Precious sacred scenes unfold In the stillness of the midnight 
precious sacred scenes on 